Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. My name is Dylan the ha <clears throat> Was Dylan the Hacker. But I no longer go by such an aggressive name. You see, I've been reading your comments on my videos, and boy, do you all have a lot to say. After reading such comments as, Fuck off, and fucking kill yourself already, I reflected on my past behavior, and boy, what I was saying was unacceptable. And by you letting me know that I'm a fucking piece of shit who should rot in his own mother's ashes, I learned that what I was saying was mean and inconsiderate. I should never have talked trash about your favorite YouTubers. And now, thanks to you, I know that talking rudely about people is wrong. You see, I recently went through a life-changing experience to activate my inner chi. Did I take a trip to some fantastic place and go hiking until I found my way? Pfft, no silly. One doesn't have to do such crazy things like that. I simply held my shit for five months. A couple things come to mind when holding the shit for so long, like, I really need a shit, and this really hurts, and why am I still eating? But once you feel the sweet release of five month old feces exiting your anal cavities, it's pure bliss. Basically what I'm saying is, I'm a changed man, because shit happens, or the lack thereof. Oh, and I don't feel the need to hide this information from you all. I feel it is my duty as one soul to guide others in the right direction. If you are where I was at in my life, ranting about other YouTubers and constantly waiting for death to capture me with his bony crypt to throw me to hell, just consider doing what I did. Take a deep breath, clear your thoughts, and hold in a ship for five months. Yeah, that's 152 days, man. And holding in the shit for so long would really do everyone some good. On day two of holding in the shit, I adopted some meditative tactics. I began releasing small puffs of gas, also known as flatulence. I was slowly releasing my anger through this process, and you could too. If you just go on Amazon buy my book, Everyone Poops, but not this guy. It features entries from my personal journal that documents every step of the way, and it even is accompanied by pictures detailing the reports. I'll begin reading a few entries just so you know what you're buying. Day one, this is it, the big change. I guess I shouldn't have started off the day at a Mexican buffet, but here we are. I can already feel my intestines attempting to notify me of an upcoming shit. This should be interesting. Day 56, why do I keep visiting this Mexican buffet? All it does is make the process worse. My damn urge to eat five plates here hasn't subsided since I started. Day 79, I can feel the clogging of my stomach. It feels like a tube of toothpaste was pumped with more toothpaste. And shit. Lots of shit. I just want to get this over with. Day 102. Fuck this. I'm killing myself. I'm ending it all. Goodbye, crew war. And day 152. Oh god, yes. I'm ready. Oh. Feels like chocolate covered rocks and pine cones squeezing out of my supple rectum. I can feel it tearing its way out of. I'm gonna stop right there. I don't wanna spoil the ending. Now I wanna be perfectly clear here. From this point forward, I will no longer rant. Not on this channel, not on any channel, not anywhere. Relevancy is no longer something I care about, and I'm no longer in it for the monetary value. So, I will not talk about other YouTubers unless it's in a positive and peaceful manner. For example, PewDiePie is a great guy. Felix is a funny individual with a lot to offer. What a fucking name. I appreciate him, and I appreciate his fans. This is me now, fellow beings, and I'm here to share my personal growth with you from now on. This has been Dylan Prescott Henderson, signing out for now. Thank you, and have a peaceful day. Oh, and I've been holding in a piss for three weeks, unrelated.